Good morning guys. Um, I'm home in Verona today and I'm going to be attempting to put my new front bumper uh, headlights and running lights in on my car even if that front radiator support is uh, a little bent. If it is bent uh, I'll just end up zip tying that one side uh, so it'll stay. I'll be able to drive home and uh, put my hood on at a later date. But yeah, let's see if we can get this bumper off. So I know I need to take off this bolt, this bolt, all of these Phillips screws, and then this bolt and this bolt, and then I think there's a couple underneath that I'm gonna have to get to. I actually ended up going to my friend Connor's house just to hang out with him and because he's got a few more tools. So I got these front pieces taken off. Then underneath the car is a splash guard. There's gonna be a bolt somewhere right here and a bolt somewhere over there. You gotta take both of those off and then the splash guard will be loose. And I think that's it. There might be one more or two more bolts on the side here. I'm gonna look it up quick. All right, so yeah, there's just a little uh, screw sort of tab thing. Sorry, there's just a little screw tab thing going up in here. Um, just got to screw that out and you can see it pulls out and then the rest is just kind of clipped in there So you're gonna be able to push and pull the front bumper straight off Make sure you go underneath though and twist out and pull out your uh, Running light bulbs though forgot about these uh, if you still got your splash guards in your Integra There's gonna be these little screw clips underneath. You'll be able to see it under your bumper um, it's just a Phillips head, screw that out. There's gonna be one on the other side too. Uh, and then you'll be good. Now you got your bumper off. Well, I'm doing my bumper. Connor's actually taking off my uh, brakes and rotors. My caliper, I guess. And uh, he's gonna be putting in some new... Whoops. He's, <laughs> he's gonna be putting in some new EBC rotors and... EBC red stuff ceramic brake pads um, Red stuff is a little bit better actually a lot better than the green stuff they offer so I'd recommend getting some red stuff if that's what you want, but there you can see all their their lines Front bumpers off I'm gonna see I know I can take this headlight off. It's not bent in this one looks to be crammed a little bit in there Counter suggested the idea of putting a block underneath my radiator support and jacking up on it to see if we can bend that back up, get this headlight out, and uh, get that bumper aligned. So I might give that a shot. I'm going to take off the brackets first, see if I can just get it out that way, but I don't know. All right, so I got the uh, left side headlight in. As you can see, it's a lot clearer than the right side one, um, and it was really simple to put in. Everything's pretty much just plug and play, except for the halos. I'm gonna wire those up later. I'm not gonna do that right now. Well, maybe, eh, I don't know. But as you can see, it's just open wires. I was gonna wire that down to the uh, running lights and the bumpers, so whenever I turn on my uh, running amber lights, my halos will also come on. Before I mess with this side of the car, I'm going to take off the bottom piece of the bumper because only the Top piece is the uh, new piece I got. Uh, I also need to swap out the brackets for the running lights, and then I'm gonna uh, put it all onto the new bumper, take care of this somehow, and then we can put it all back together. Connor finished up the uh, rotors and got the pads on there. You can see the red stuff and the, sl the slotted rotors. Not too bad, not too bad. So uh, I need to keep working on the bumper, and I believe he's gonna do the other side. So yeah. Got this headlight out, uh, bent this up a little bit. It still needs to come up some more. It's bent weird, but yeah, headlights out. Got the bracket out. And I'm gonna take the new one, see if I can fit it in there and finagle it around a little bit to get it to work. Okay, front bumper is taken apart. Now it's time to put this one onto that uh, lower piece. And then it'll be ready to go back on. All right, I think I got it uh, bent back about in place. The headlight lines up, which is good. Enough space for it to go in there, plug in, etc. So I'm gonna put that in there. Um, 
and then we'll see if that front bumper goes on I might need a pound up on this area a little bit with a hammer and bring it up but I think it's pretty good. So yeah, I'm gonna put that headlight in there and see if we can't get the bumper in. All right, back home. I'm leaving now to go back to lacrosse, but as you can see, it still doesn't line up quite right. The headlights are a little off, so we're gonna have to do either some more bending or actually end up buying a radiator support. So we'll see. I made it back to lacrosse and I decided quick before the sun goes fully down that I was gonna take off the hood, see if I could put the new one on quick. Um, it's only four bolts. So there's the old one, you can see all the dents. Uh, the new one's inside, I'm gonna go grab it quick and throw it on. Hopefully it latches up tight. Okay, hood is on. It does latch, it is latched. But you can see there's still a good amount of space there because the bumper is supposed to be up higher. Um, and the latch needs to come further this way for it to go all the way down. So um, if I pull on it, it definitely is latched. It's just not all the way down, which kind of sucks. Um, and then look at this. That's how it came. This corner, that sucks. Uh, hood rubs a little bit in that corner. I mean, it does look okay. I'm gonna see if I can bend this down. If not, I'm gonna email the company, ask for a replacement. If you guys liked today's video, um, I know it was kind of all over the place, but feel free to like, subscribe, share, comment, all that good stuff, and stay tuned for the next video, which may or may not be putting a new radiator support on. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you later.